Well, hello for you, and welcome back to our work on uh, logarithms and exponentials. Uh, we're going to be talking today about the equivalent forms of exponential equations, and our goal, I can write powers with the same base in order to simplify or solve for exponents. So we're going to be looking at a few uh, simplifications that we can do and kind of reviewing some of our basic uh, exponential uh, laws as we go along. So example number one, uh, and we're going to do this by example. There's no real um, note part of this. It's all going to be by example. Um, rewrite the following using a base of 3. So I want to rewrite 81 as a base of 3. Now you may know that right off the bat, um, or you may not. You may not know 3 to whatever power, but hopefully you do know that 81 is 9 times 9. And if we can write 81 as 9 times 9, then hopefully you realize that the 9's are actually 3 squared. So this is 3 squared times 3 squared. And when I put together exponents with the same base, the rule is I, or powers with the same base, the rule is I add their exponents. So this is going to be 3 to the exponent 4. Um, so 81 is equal to 3 to the exponent 4. And you may have known that right off the bat. You can try it by doing um, trial and error on your calculator, but this is probably even quicker than trial error and error on the calculator. Now, this one over here, 27, I would hope you recognize as actually being uh, 3 cubed. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So this is 3 cubed, and then it's to the... Um, root 4. So remember that root 4 means that it has to be to the 1 fourth. But there's also this number out here and that number means that it's also cubed so it's actually to the 3 fourths. So what this is, if I put this together as and write it with a base of 3, I multiply these exponents so I have 3 to the exponent 9 quarters and that's writing that as a base of 3. It's not a nice exponent, but it does have a base of 3. Now we're going to encounter one that's even less nice than that. Um, let's go down to this one. Uh, 81, square root of 81. Well, we know 81 from our previous work is 3 to the 4th. So I'm going to write 3 to the 4th and then square root it, which is to the 1 half. Now, you may have already known that the square root of 81 is 9, and then 9 is 3 squared, but we're going to try and recap some of our laws of exponents as we go along as well. Um, and then here we know that 27 is 3 to the exponent 3, and then I have to put that to the 1 third, but I've got a 2 out here too, so that means it's actually to the 2 thirds. Uh, and these two things are multiplied together. So this 3 to the 4th to the 1 half, we can multiply the exponents and that's just 3 squared. And you may have been able to do that right off the top um, of your head too, knowing that uh, square root of 81 is 9 and then 9 is 3 squared. Over here these 3's cancel, so this just turns into 3 squared as well. So I've got 3 squared times 3 squared. And once again my answer is 3 to the 4th, which is a whole lot simpler than writing it like this. Now, 36. 36 is not a nice multiple of 3. It's 6 times 6, but 6 is, um, it's not a power, like we can't change it into a power. This is, this is 6 squared, but this is not a power of 3, and we can't change 6 into a power of 3 easily. So it would be just as easy to say, okay, I want to change this. I want to take 3 to the something and I want that to equal 36. So I'm going to change this into kind of a log or an exponential equation. Now what I'm going to do, remember we took the power law of logarithms, if I take the logarithm of both sides here, the log of both sides is going to give me make the x come down front. So when I take the log of both sides, I get the log of 3 and then this x can come down out front here. So x log 3 equals the log of 36. And now I can get x by itself and say x equals the log of 36 divided by the log 
of 3. So if I want to simplify that, or if I want to write this as a, as a power of 3, I have to write 3 to the exponent log 36 over log 3. Now we can play with this a little bit more because 36, as I told you before, is 6 squared. So we could say that that is the log of 6 squared over the log of 3. And then this 2 can come out front, so it could be 2 log 6 over the log of 3. But that's just playing around. This isn't really any more right than what we had up here. But we could write it like that too. We could say, therefore, um, 3 or 36 is the same thing as 3 to the uh, 2 log 6, 2 log 6 over log 3. So there's two different ways to write this thing um, depending on our simplification. Okay, and this is the simplest way to write um, log of 36 as an exponential. Or sorry, with logarithms. Okay, now let's have a look at what we can do with this. This says solve for x by first writing as powers with the same base. Um, so this is pretty straightforward. I know that 25 is 5 squared. Okay, um, I expect that you know that too. Okay, so I'm going to write 25 as 5 squared. And then it has this exponent x minus 1 on it. And that's going to equal 5 to the 3x. Now, we multiply exponents together. When we have a power of a power, the rule is that we multiply the exponents. And since this exponent is, this exponent here is a binomial, I have to use distributive law. So this actually becomes 5 to the 2x minus 2 because I'm distributing this 2 through to the binomial exponent. And that's going to equal 5 to the 3x. Now that I have the same base, I if the bases are the same and the whole expression is the same, then the exponents must be the same. So I say something like this. I'll say equating the exponents. That simply means I'm going to set the exponents equal since the bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same. So this is 2x minus 1 equals 3x. And now this is just a straight linear uh, equation. You can give it to any grade 9 to solve and hopefully they can solve it for you. Um, but I'm going to rearrange and get it, uh, get it here. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. So that says negative 1 equals x. And we're done when I subtract 2x. And just so that there's no confusion here, I subtract 2x on that side, I subtract 2x on that side, those 2x's are gone, 3x minus 2x is simply x, and so x equals negative 1. And going down, here's another one, and this is the last example we're going to do, which is going to mean that this is probably going to be a less than 10 minute video, so um, you're welcome. Uh, anyway, um, 27 can be written as 3 cubed. And yes, I expect you to know stuff like that. Um, you should be able to recognize some of the smaller perfect cubes and some of the smaller perfect squares. Or at least I hope you can recognize perfect squares up to, you know, at least 12 times 12. Anyway, 27 is 3 cubed and then it still has that exponent of x out there. Now 9 is 3 squared. And it has the exponent of 2x minus 3. Now remember, um, when you have a power of a power, which is what we have here, I've got an exponent next to another exponent, the rule is you multiply them. So this becomes 3 to the 3x, and since I have a binomial multiplied by a monomial, I have to use the distributive property when I multiply those two exponents together. So I'm going to get 3 to the 4x minus 6. Now once again, now that the bases are the same, the exponents must also be the same. So we say something like this, equating exponents, dot, 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 and we'll say, well, we know that 3x equals 4x minus 6. 
And now this is just a matter of solving. I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. When I subtract 4x on both sides, I get a negative x over here equals a negative 6. Then I'll multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of those negatives. We must know that x equals positive 6. Now I'm just going to write up here, I'm going to say since the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal. Otherwise you're not going to get that expression. So we'll just put this here. That's an explanation of why I'm doing this, why I'm equating the exponents. And yes, you need to put this thing in here. This equating exponents in here is important because if I left that out, then that would imply that the line before it is exactly equal to this and it's not. The exponents are, I'm just taking the exponents from here and setting them equal. So this line is not the same as this line down here. And so you need to say what you're doing as you, as you go through there. Um, and we're going to leave it at that for right now. And we went over the 10 minute mark, but not by much.